Morning, hundreds are attending the funeral for Chicago police officer John Rivera. You're looking at hundreds of people lining the sidewalk, solemnly watching the procession, carrying Officer Rivera from Elwood Chapel to the Church of the Annunciata, where his funeral began within the past hour. Officer Rivera was shot and killed last Saturday in Chicago's River North neighborhood. Loved ones remember him as a gentle soul and devoted friend. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe joins us live now from the church where the funeral is being held. Good morning, Mugo. Good morning, Mai and Mike. Most of the trees in this neighborhood are lined with blue rib ribbons, like you can see behind me. We've seen a lot of people in this area heading to the church, many of them saying they simply want to make sure Officer Rivera is honored. Officers in uniform line the streets as they say their farewell to one of their own. Everybody knows someone who knows him. This as the community shows up in full force to honor 23-year-old Officer John Rivera. I feel it, it's my duty as a person of this community, as a person who backs the blue to, to be here. Crystal Stosich is not the only one. Students from Jane Adams walked from class to the Church of the Annunciata where the funeral mass is taking place. He is one of us, so we're here to show support. Assistant Principal Daniel Alvarez says he wants his students to understand the magnitude of what it takes to be an officer. So our students understand the important job that our officers serve every day and that uh, the job that they do is one that is appreciated. The community certainly appreciates it. Every tree near the funeral site has a blue ribbon tied to it, a symbol of For respect. I broke down a few times. Officer Rivera was shot and killed during a night out in River North. Police have now charged two men with his murder. For some here, like Patricia Aguilera, the focus today is solely on Rivera. The young man deserves this honor, and uh, he seemed like he was a wonderful, wonderful child. So I'm sure the family's proud of him. The funeral mass began an hour ago and is currently ongoing. Live on the east side, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News. All right, thanks so much, Mugo. Officer Rivera's CPD partner wrote a heartfelt goodbye letter to him. Officer Nate Smith, on the right of your screen, considered Rivera not just a colleague, but a close friend. He says he wanted to share the letter so people can remember the man he called his brother with the same fondness he feels. The letter says, in part, words can't even begin to express the emotions, pain, sadness, and hurt in my heart. I'm going to miss you always, calling and texting me all the time, asking for advice, no matter if if it was life stuff, work related, or just things you were thinking about. Even though your life was violently taken away from you and us far too soon, I thank God for bringing us into each other's lives.